Hello friends, many people suggested me to make a video on difference between AAC blocks and CLC blocks. I have already made separate videos on information about AAC blocks and CLC blocks. If you haven't watched these videos, you can watch it from the link given in the description of this video. So in this video, we will discuss the differences between AAC blocks and CLC blocks. So let's begin. AAC blocks, CLC blocks. Raw materials used. AAC blocks are made from a mixture of cement, sand, lime, gypsum, aluminium powder, water, fly ash, and an aeration agent. Whereas CLC blocks are made from cement, fly ash, water, and foaming agent. Size of equipments required. Manufacturing of AAC blocks requires large equipments. Hence, to accommodate these equipments, a considerable amount of space is required. Whereas the equipments needed for manufacturing of CLC blocks are smaller in size as compared to AC blocks. Hence, it requires less space. Space required for curing. AC blocks are steam cured inside the autoclave and after that they are ready to be used. Extra space is not required for curing in case of AC blocks. Whereas CLC blocks require a large amount of space for curing. Manufacturing capacity. Manufacturing capacity of AAC blocks is quite large, also it could be improved depending on the requirements of the customers. Whereas, manufacturing capacity of CLC blocks is relatively less when we compare it with AAC blocks. Investment Huge capital investment is required for setting up AAC blocks manufacturing plant. Whereas, CLC manufacturing plant requires less investment as compared to AAC blocks manufacturing. Scalability the manufacturing unit of AAC blocks can be extended by setting up additional molds and autoclaves. But in case of CLC blocks, the extension is very difficult due to smaller equipments. In case the production is increased, it requires a lot of space for curing of the blocks. Workers required Average size of AAC plant requires 36 to 45 workers per day. Whereas, average size of CLC plant requires 18 to 30 workers per day. Dry density as per IS codes. As per IS 2185 part 3 1984, the density of AAC blocks varies from 451 kg per m3 to 1000 kg per m3. Whereas as per IS 2185 part 4 2008, the density of CLC blocks varies from 800 kg per m3 to 1800 kg per m3. Compressive strength as per IS codes. Compressive strength of AAC blocks depending on density and grade of blocks ranges from 2 to 7 Newton per mm square. For a density of 1000 kg per m3 of AAC block, the compressive strength is 7 Newton per mm square. Whereas, compressive strength of CLC blocks ranges from 2.5 to 25 Newton per mm square for different densities of blocks. For a density of 1000 kg per m3 of CLC block, the compressive strength is 3.5 Newton per mm square. Water absorption. For a density of 1000 kg per m3 of AAC block, the water absorption is 30%. Whereas, for a density of 1000 kg per m3 for CLC block, the water absorption is 12.5%. Sound insulation. For a density of 1000 kg per m3 for AAC block, we get the sound insulation of 42 decibels. Whereas, in case of CLC blocks, for a density of 1000 kg per m3, we get the sound insulation of 40 decibels. Percentage of air voids. Autoclaved aerated concrete contains nearly about 50 to 60 percent of air voids, whereas cellular lightweight concrete contains 30 to 35 percent of air voids. Variation in size In case of AAC blocks, the size variation is plus minus 1.5 mm, whereas in case of CLC blocks, the size variation is plus minus 5 mm. Quality of the end product AAC block is a factory made product, hence the quality is good and consistent. Whereas, in case of CLC blocks, the quality of the end product depends on the foaming agent used and degree of quality control. Uses AAC blocks can be used in load bearing as well as non-load bearing structures. Whereas, CLC blocks are used to build walls of low cost housing and internal partition walls. Cost of construction AAC blocks are expensive as compared to CLC blocks. Whereas, CLC blocks are cheaper when compared with AAC blocks. If we compare AAC blocks with CLC blocks by keeping the density constant, then all the parameters are almost similar, except compressive strength. The compressive strength of AAC blocks is more than CLC blocks. Only the drawback is cost. Cost of AAC blocks is more than CLC blocks. Also unlike AAC blocks, 
CLC blocks are not manufactured as factory made products. Hence quality of blocks may vary depending on manufacturing units. So the question is which one is better? Well, it all depends on the type of project, its budget, quality requirement, etc. So friends, I hope I have covered all the differences between AAC blocks and CLC blocks in this video. Like this video if you learned something and be sure to share it with someone who might benefit from it. If you have any suggestions, you can mention it in the comment section. Subscribe to Engineering Motive for more such videos and turn on that notification bell so that you won't miss the new video. Finally, thanks for watching.